In 2010, the first controlled trial was published, examining how the brain responds to grape juice. It helped aged rats, but what about people? Concord grape juice supplementation improves memory function in older adults with mild cognitive impairment, or so says the title. The problem is that the study was funded by Welch's, and though the authors claim they have no financial interest in the outcome, that seems disingenuous. I mean, I mean do you think Welch's would you know, ever fund them again if they found uh, you know, grape juice wasn't good for you? And indeed, that title is a bit of industry spin. I mean, I'm sure that's what they wanted to find. Older adults with memory decline, but not dementia, were randomized into a placebo-controlled double-blind trial with Concord grape juice versus a uh, same calorie, same sugar, similarly looking, tasting, grape Kool-Aid type drink. So uh, it's a solid study design. And look, uh, berries have those wonderful polyphenol phytonutrients, which you know, have anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties, so it certainly could help brain function. And it did seem to help with verbal learning. Uh, the chances you'd get such a notable result just by chance is like 1 in 25 whereas the higher recall scores are considered not statistically significant, since even if there wasn't an effect, you might get those kind of results by chance one in every you know, eight or ten times you'd run the experiment. And by convention, we really like to see at least one in 20, so a p-value of 0.05 or less, especially if you're looking at multiple outcomes, which increases the likelihood that something will you know, just kind of pop up as a fluke. Bottom line is that we're less confident in those kind of memory outcome, so I imagine if this hadn't had industry funding, it would have been titled more accurately, you know, Concord grape juice supplementation improves verbal learning in older adults with mild cognitive impairment, which is still an important finding, and you know, we have the Welch's Corporation to thank for it, I and mean, without industry funding, a study like this you know, might never get done. The findings suggest that drinking grape juice is superior to drinking grape Kool-Aid, not necessarily for memory, but uh, you know, maybe for helping with learning. When the study was repeated, though, it did seem to help one measure of memory, but found no benefit for verbal learning, even when using the exact same test as before, which you know, calls the previous results into question. So we're left you know, uncertain about what effects, if any, grape juice has on the aging brain. What about the brains of middle-aged mothers? The Welch's-funded researchers noted significant improvements in one measure of memory and driving performance, as measured in some you know, fancy driving simulator, uh, suggesting on grape juice you might be able to stop a dozen yards earlier on the highway than if you had instead been drinking grape Kool-Aid. I, mean, I, I do like how they tried to like, translate the cognitive effects into more you know, meaningful metrics, but you know, it's important to acknowledge as they did, that you know, no effects were found for the majority of cognitive consequences. And, and when you study you know, 20 different outcomes, the odds are pretty good you're just going to get a statistically significant result or two by chance. The latest study uh, involved a single dose given to young adults, average age 21, a cup of purple grape juice, or white grape juice, to which flavor and color had been added to disguise it. In this way, you could see if there's something special about those deep purple polyphenol pigments in Concord grape juice, and got the same kind of results. Uh, two cognitive measures just reaching statistical significance, but you know that's out of seven different outcomes. So instead of uh, 0 0.05 as the cutoff for significance, uh, we'd really like to see closer to 0 0.007, and none hit that. Uh, maybe it's because they didn't use the whole food, uh, like in that blueberry study I profiled before. Uh, there was a study that looked at actual grape consumption by utilizing freeze-dried grape powder to capture the you know, kind of whole food instead of just the juice, versus a sugar-matched placebo. Uh, they used PET scans to track changes in brain metabolism associated with early Alzheimer's in a group of older adults already suffering from mild cognitive decline. Although the changes couldn't be picked up on neuropsych testing, in those early-stage Alzheimer's regions, the placebo group continued to worsen, but the grape group 
uh, was spared such decline, uh, suggesting a protective effect of grapes. Um, here's that in kind of graph form, uh, showing the significant differences, or even better, brain mapping pictures. Right? Here's one of the placebo brains. The red areas indicate locations where brain metabolism declined after six months of eating placebo grapes. Compare that level of decline to a brain that ate six months of actual grapes.